we're in charge of uh, basically marketing the vehicle as a viable destination, whether or not it's for the, the uh, family, the individual, the convention delegate, the group tour, sports related, anything in regards to that. So technology plays a huge component on what we do. Obviously we have to, much like retail, much like other industries, we have to get the word out that Dubuque is a place to come to see and visit and spend time and such. So uh, within our industry, it's evolving all the time. I mean, it's, it's changed. I've been in the industry for over 30 years, either as an attraction, uh, running a, uh, a group of gentlemen that traveled around the world and such, and now being the head of a DMO. And it's uh, it changes almost on a, uh, a yearly basis, if not quicker than that. You know, it's a lot of different fads, how we get the word to the different demographics, you know, the, the younger demographic, my age, you know, everyone and, and how that revolves around it. So we have to change as an organization and I think our staff does a very good job of that. We try to stay as current as we possibly can within our budget you know, to, uh, to get the word out. A lot of the unique things, the majority of our marketing that we do, we, drive, we try to drive everyone to our website because within our website it really holds the key to everything we have to offer here within the Tri-States whether it's events, the hospitality, the hotels, the restaurants, and all that type of stuff. Uh, we do that in a variety of different ways. Uh, like you had said, customer service, the accessibility, the, the easiness of it. People want to, they don't want my staff telling them that, hey, this is a great place to come and visit. They want somebody like you, a mother that has three young sons, that what's unique about Dubuque, and so we do blogging. You know, that's the want to come there, and we do that, and uh, all types of different things. You know, the Snapchats, the tweets, the Twitter, um, depending on the audience that we're trying to attract. If we're doing an event like America's River Festival, obviously that's a younger demographic for a Saturday, Friday night, country night. Well, we're tweeting out, you know, we're sending pictures out to that age group, and that's what they respond to. That's what they look at. They make the decisions to come down. So as we continue to evolve, as the industry continues to evolve, you know, the, the technology is a huge part. Uh, we do that in a, in a number of different ways. You've all been online and you've looked at a pair of shoes at Cabela's or wherever, and then you go to another website and that follows you. Mm -hmm. And the retargeting, that's one of the, what we do. You know, someone could be in New York City and they're looking at Chicago, or they're interested in the Midwest as a potential uh, vacation spot. Well, all of a sudden our ad pops up, you know, Dubuque, Iowa. We're only three hours from and we're a lot less expensive, and there's a lot of things to do here. But we also have the ability to attract who's coming. The analytics that we're able to um, gather now and really analyze. So when we're marketing, and our main areas we go into are Madison, Wisconsin, Chicago, uh, the Des Moines area, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, and the Quad City. So when we're doing specific marketing campaigns, a lot of it is electronic now. A lot of it is actually based out of this building with Fence Talk. They do a wonderful job. Uh, we're able to analyze those analytics and these people are actually, this is where we're getting the hits from, you know, from these communities. It's much different than it was 10 years ago, guys, when we were doing a, a print ad in a uh, magazine and we had no idea who was looking at that ad and who was coming to see. Now we know. The other thing is the direct analytics we get from, with technology, is from the events that we do. Like I mentioned, like America's River Festival. When we're able to track that last year we sold tickets to 590 different communities, 28 states and five foreign countries. I mean, we see, we know the economic impact that brings into our community, but it makes it much easier then for us to go back to my board, to the city, and to show the branding that that's doing for this community. Because when we talk about not only from a branding as a destination, but a branding as a viable spot for people to come to live mm -hmm. and potentially you know, move to here. So a lot of different things. That's going to continue to evolve, and uh, we'll be on the forefront of it, hopefully.